attention, not ice cream. So Japan has a lot of English. If you've ever been or know stuff about Japan, it's English is everywhere there. You know, it's, it's like the language, you know, English is kind of taken over the world as like the language of trade. But in Japan, it's especially prevalent. And it's if, and in a, Eastern Asian countries, uh, English, by the translate English is called English because, you know, they, they're because the, you know the l sound doesn't exist in those but in some of those languages so they did pronounce it english but then i so but japan is, is extremely special because i feel like in other places like the language is just like a mishmash of just of just words that make no sense but in japan they make just enough sense they sound like they're written by an ai it's like you have all the it's like it's usually the best spelled and like it's got like the correct words and stuff but it's not quite a sentence you would say as a native english speaker for example my shirt that just says interesting city osaka so yeah because uh i went to japan last year and i captured a lot of i think the funniest english i found so here we're gonna, we're gonna jump right into that so first off, uh, this sign that was in my the first hotel bathroom you stayed at, the first hotel's bathroom, uh, cannot hair dyeing, and then the text underneath it, my phone translated as tint prohibited, denial hair. So uh, Google Translate doesn't work too well. Uh, their automatic reads text rapid fire out of context. Papa becomes mom. Do they really have a thousand needles eyes? Really? This next one uh, is about talking about like little like puzzle things they put together off cardboard. I have one of a shark. 3D paper puzzle is taking advantage of the goodness of the delicate laser machine. Take that to mean whatever you want. Enjoying as a puzzle, then as den decorative objects. Remove it from the sheet. Make the insertion as per the manual. It is completed. Really uh, simplifying the steps there, but okay. Uh, Please do not pickle the sauce twice. I have no clue to what this was referring to. It's just on a menu, and I'm like, but, but, but there's no other, like, text around it. It's just all the other text Japanese. I have no idea what it means. Do not pickle the sauce twice. Uh, there are some interesting options, like deep-fried chicken neck meat. I'm sure it's or stewed chunks of mature chicken. Uh, I don't want, no, thank you. I don't want any an immature chicken. That's, no. I want my chickens. I like my chickens like I like my women, but sure. I'm kidding. Please don't. Glory Money Changer Model ER80. Glory Money Changer. Due to glory. Osaka, all you need is laugh. Like, uh, it's in. <laughs> laugh. It's in quotations. That just makes it seem extra suspicious. I also have no idea what's going on. Um, I guess it's some sketch group. Pocky is too global brand. There's no follow-up. That's, that's it. All the other like paragraphs around that were just perfectly written English. But that's just Pocky is too global brand. As... No, there's nothing else. Oh, here, here's just a simple typo that usually doesn't happen too much in Japan. Damplings. Mmm, damplings. Oh, this this is this is a good favorite of mine. The item which becomes happy. What if you're named to Japanese kanji? I don't know. What if? Carving name. Five minutes. Shortest time. There's just so many different things on this. The best for souvenir. Mr. Johnny Depp uses our goods regularly. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Depp. Barry Goodman. Front sample. Sample. Mr. Michael. I got Johnny Depp. Like, there's American celebrities, like, most random American celebrities will promote goods in Japan, like, Tommy Lee Jones promoting some coffee thing. Please refrain to use only the restroom. Heat stroke measures beverages. Sure, why not? Eventually, Graham has come to Osaka Castle Town, specialized in pancakes with shops throughout Japan and overseas. One of our recommendations is our premium pancakes. For texture sensations you have not experienced before. It is soft and fluffy, melting in your tongue. In your tongue, not on it, in it. Ugh. Please have precious time with Graham Pancake. We hope Graham's pancakes can make you happy. I think it's supposed to be like Grandma's pancakes, I hope. And not pancakes that weigh a gram. Because otherwise it's just like... 
tiny pancakes. I did get some pancakes in Japan. They're... Please put the volunteer guide who wore a green coat. I, 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 I'm, I can gather enough that the volunteer guides are wearing a green coat, but where's, where's the put? Please put the volunteer guide. Put them where? No eating or drinking. In... <laughs> it's a typo, but it's still, like, that's honestly a keyboard typo. No eating or drinking, but this is an ad I saw on my phone in Japan. Bulge out. Be tough. Be untamed. Be a true scholarly lad. Not scaly, scholarly. I have no idea what's happening in the picture. Though. Like, oh, more suspicious quotations. Today's event, soccer game. Is it? You know, we in the we call this dish spaghetti, but uh, they call it uh, the cold pasta of a tomato. You're not wrong. And above it, salad of beans. <laughs> oh, and then there's the infamous drink, Pakari sweat. If you you know, it, it's pretty common in Japan. It's like watered down Gatorade, but extra salty, I guess. Ion Supply Drink, Pakari Sweat. Pakari Sweat is a healthy beverage that smoothly supplies the lost water and electrolytes during precipitation with the appropriate density and electrolytes close to that of, a, of human body fluid. Which one? I don't know. It can be easily absorbed into the body. Uh, so yeah, that's everywhere. It does not... It doesn't taste like sweat. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like Gatorade. And people enjoy it, I guess. Rocket salad. Don't know what that was. Do want to know, though. Rice people, nice people. Please using up a roll of toilet paper. How <laughs> to eat delicious bread. Please warm up bread for about two to three minutes in the toaster oven. It is more delicious. Please enjoy. Okay, I will. I, I just, uh, I've never seen instructions for how to heat bread. How to eat delicious bread. This isn't how you eat good. If you want to eat gross bread, find something else. This is how to eat delicious bread. It's saying... Please toast it. Please observe the manners. That's just good life advice. Please observe them. More scream? Free entrance. I'm imagining, like, at the door, someone just walks up and is like, Hi, welcome to the Fuji Q. Ah! Why? Why would you do that? Well on, the, well, on the sign it said, more scream, free entrance. So, you know, I just thought if I screamed, then I'd get free tickets. <laughs> You know, because I'm an American and I'm entitled to everything. Please leave. This, customers to ask, this spoon is please return along with the cup. I found that um, the more you get out of like cities, like, you know, Osaka and Tokyo and Nagoya, they all had like pretty good English. But Fuji, like, even though it was pretty touristy, you know, but it's still nice. Fuji's nice. Go to Fuji. Put it on your bucket list right now. Go find your bucket list that you may or may not have and put Fuji on it. It's pretty amazing. How to ride a bus? Please keeping rules. Sorry, an entry. Only a hotel guest. That means only hotel guests can enter? But sorry, an entry. Only a hotel guest. Milk juice. Attention, not ice cream. Just in case you thought it was, this is not ice cream. It's a bus. So in Japan, the Fast and Furious movies are called Wild, are called wild Speed. And the and Hobbs so you can get Hobbs and Shaw was called Wild Speed Super Combo, which is just a way better name than the American version, English word. To hotel guests, we would like you to wash your hands and gargle carefully to prevent infectious diseases such as influenza. Seem more prevalent now. All comprise Adams bird goods. Raw ham croquet. I don't know what that was, and I. Didn't want to know. Enter the junior exile. Well, if you say so. New face. Ingredients are blessing of the earth. It is kind to earth. There are important ingredients which are made by producers. Please cooperate not to make any leftover. Yep. That, I guess, because there's so many things that make, I guess you're not, that somewhat makes sense. But, you know, we're going to end it off with the legendary Mount Fuji curry. Um... So at Mount, this like restaurant near Mount Fuji, there was like this touristy curry that was like, I'm, put, I'm, put, I'm putting a picture of it right now. You could get blue or red. Blue, I, I had the blue, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, not the best thing ever, but it's all right. But the descriptions, all oh my, combined with the fact that it's outside of a major city, it's long. The longer the English, the more likely it is to be messed up. I should mention that, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty bad at Japanese. I, I, like, I, I'm making fun of all their English, but it's way better than my Japanese. I should just point that out right now before I don't in the video. Just gonna get into it. 
The Blue Mount Fuji curry added coconut milk and dairy products to the curry paste, independently explored and formulated. In addition, chicken and peach puree are added to bring depth and depth of richness, umami, and taste. By stewing for three hours or more, further deliciousness and curry, which the honest sweetness of peach directs deepness and spicy, which attracts after richness it becomes. So if you could decipher any of that, um... I mean, that, that description sold me, and King, it was, it was the picture. It's the fact that it's a mound of rice with goo, curry goo. It was like, that's the sweet curry. The Fujisan red curry is a spicy one. Dry red Mount Fuji curry incorporated the taste of soup stock. As well as being spicy, it mixes its own spice in the hotness to bring out the flavor. It uses yours for spice and produce good hotness of crispness. It is a shibi curry that that expresses the pain of being numb. <laughs> it is curry that umami and deep taste out in the hotness. Yes, I too like to express the pain of being numb. Alright, I uh, hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed that video. Um comment on my other Long John Silver's Last Long John Slayer video, what you want me to do next? Comments or ads? And I'll do that when I get 50 subscribers. So, yeah. You know, follow the Twitter and Instagram. Links in the description. It's at, at Call Me Ocean Man. Uh, and then also, this week, I think I'm going to try and film uh, Goshen Man. That's G O S H E N Man. Because I'm going somewhere. Where? You'll find out. And I, it's, yeah. I'm going to see if it works or not. It may, it may not make it.